Alright, how's it going? And welcome yourselves back to the Curtis Price channel. Today we will indeed be talking about the most problematic YouTuber. Problematic is someone or something that causes a lot of problems. I mean, my penis causes a lot of problems, which is why I beat it so much. But someone else who is problematic is a YouTuber, and her name is without a crystal ball. It's the worst. First off, cracking him. I have uh, no idea what it means. Perhaps I should look the meaning up in my crystal ball over here. <laughs> But I can't, because I am indeed without a crystal ball. Now I get the meaning. But who is this woman? Why am I talking about her? Why is she stalking other YouTubers? Well, those are indeed the questions I shall be answering in today's video, my wonderful people. So watch to the end to see the many sides of her, such as ego, hypocrisy, slander, lying, and many more things. And to find out why I make so many penis jokes. So make sure you watch to the end, or I'll gun your nan down. Without a crystal ball, aka Katie Joy, YouTuber with 138,000 subscribers who posts about trending news, reality TV, and YouTube tea. Recently, she's been averaging around 15,000 views a video and posts around four times a day. Now, if I was to post four times a day, I imagine there would not be much joy in that. Katie Joy. Perhaps there is a greater meaning after all. Or perhaps not. However, Katie claims to be the GOAT of research. The infamous detective who will dive into topics and search way deeper than any other YouTuber on the platform. She is indeed the self-proclaimed queen of information. And as we know, this is in fact an age of information, my friends. So, join me on this journey where we explore the inconsistencies and the imperfections of this woman. But first, listen up, I need you to follow my Instagram and Twitter, it is dying and I am suffering. Not only just that, but I'm trying to hit 100,000 subscribers as soon as I can. You see this house? That's right everyone, I'm going to buy this house when I have enough money. We're a long way away, but you can help me get there. Thank you very much. Now before we get into the nitty gritty, I just want to give you a little taster of what we have in store for you today. Katie Joy decided to give her opinion on a sexual abuse case. There was a girl who was allegedly sexually assaulted by her stepdad. And considering Katie is all about the victims and the victims' voices and supporting them, you'd assume that she would, well, yes, support the victim. But she did not. She was just being a brat and wanted to stay with her dad. Part of me thought she was just being bratty, like she would just go from crying to fine, from crying to fine, and it reminded me of when my son pitches a fit. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, you hear to hear first. Katie Joy called a potential sexual abuse victim a lying brat. Well, Katie, that really does go along with the things you stand by, doesn't it? You know, protecting the victims and, uh, and giving the victims a voice. Um... I'm quite lost right now, I don't really know what to do to be honest. Uh, but that was just me painting a picture of what kind of person this woman is. Unreliable for one. But, what other imperfections could she possibly have? So, ladies and gentlemen, we all remember the drama that broke out between Shane Dawson and the internet. Shane was being called out for his past involving inappropriate comments to minors and many other things. And according to two YouTubers, Sanders Kennedy and Without a Crystal Ball, Shane Dawson was being investigated by the LAPD. Or was he? You see, my friends, Katie and Sanders Kennedy took it upon themselves to lie about Shane Dawson in return for publicity. Katie and Sanders both put out videos claiming that Shane Dawson is a culprit, a convict, which Shane Dawson broke his silence on Twitter by claiming these allegations are false. And yes, they were indeed. However, ladies and gentlemen, to make these seem even more legit, Katie released the name of the sergeant leading the investigation in the description of her video. Sanders, Saunders, however you want to say his name. However, I do want to point out that he never released a name. He never gave us the name of the sergeant that was leading the investigation. Katie did this all by herself, which in her eyes made her video seem more credible. This doesn't even go anywhere when you call it. You can't talk to a sergeant Payne without knowing the precinct they work with. Exactly, my friend just tried it, and they think they are prank calling. Twitter.com without a crystal ball. This number when you call it, it goes nowhere. My friend called it, and currently, Augie RFC is trying, and it's going nowhere. They think it's a prank call. They just got through that sergeant actually retired 
so debunked. Now you see right there my friends, Katie was in fact lying. She wanted to seem credible by providing that name in the description. She even told her fans to call that number just to prove that the investigation is on. However, she doubted the intelligence of her audience. They did call that number and as you can see, Sergeant Payne had in fact retired. This was all fabricated for self gain. However, ladies and gentlemen, the hilarious thing about this whole story is that when all this was debunked, rather than Katie you know, just owning up to her mistakes or admitting she was lying. She tried to plant it all on Sanders Kennedy. Here is your source, leave me alone. And that is indeed a tweet from Sanders Kennedy trying to explain himself. However, as I mentioned, Sanders Kennedy never released the name of the sergeant. That was Katie. She did that all by herself. But of course she tries to, you know, plant it on someone else because she doesn't want to be responsible for her own mistakes. I do see you trying to get out of it, Katie, but however, not this time. But I do want to add, this is all my opinion. All the information I have got is all from the internet. That's all I've got to say. This is what the attributes are recording from the chest down. I'm literally sitting there like this right now. Now then, Katie claims to be the best researcher of all time. The greatest detective of our very world. Well, Katie, if you're so good at finding things, perhaps you can help me find your self-respect. <gasps> Ooh! I'm not gonna lie, but even I felt that one. But honestly, I am curious. How does me, myself, and I become the best detective of all time? Well, Katie does that by stalking people. Katie would spend the next two weeks sniffing James Charles' ass just to find out that he sacked someone off in Coachella. I don't know about you, but that was worth it. But anyway, let's talk about Tati Westbrook. If you do remember correctly, Tati Westbrook had that drama with James Charles over a year ago. She released a bi sister video. However, she followed up with another video a year later, which was called Breaking My Silence. And in that video, Tati accused Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star of running the James Charles Vendetta. Now, I did make a video on it, but don't watch it because it's not recent and no one gives a shit about the past. But you know, Katie being the greatest detective, she took it upon herself to dig into Tati's family records. It does sound uh, rather strange when I say it out loud. Katie tried looking into the criminal records, tried looking to see if the family owed money to someone, even tried looking into their neighbours. Well, good luck looking into my neighbours, because the one on the left sells crack for a living, and the one on the right is a paedophile. All day long, I was doing research, you guys. Research, I tell you. Remember how I told you I was going to try to do something where I exposed Tati Westbrook? And I was like, looking, and I've been doing this for two days straight now. Two days, thinking I would find something. When I started digging into her background, and I have looked all over the place, you guys, everywhere. I started playing around even more, and digging through more and more information, going through marriage records, and through um, birth certificates. I couldn't even find her birth certificate, which is weird. There's like zero records of her father. Well done, Katie. You've just earned yourself a one-way ticket to fuckery town. Now, the problem is, you ladies and gentlemen, is that Katie tried to look into Tati's family, who aren't public figures. It means that they, they don't want their stuff on the internet. It's a violation of privacy. And Katie really thought that she'd done something by placing her dick inside Tati's family. You know, these people aren't celebrities. Their uh, records aren't out there for the world to see. She just decided to violate privacy. Um, for the sake of uh, what, I don't know. And the best part about this, ladies and gentlemen, is that... Katie tries to act so proud of herself, looking so privileged, you know, as if she's got a Tory cock in her ass. I've been looking into public records for the last two days and I've been digging, guys, and digging. Yes, Katie, digging yourself your own grave. If you listen carefully, Katie, I think that's right. That is the noise of how many fucks I give. Zero. Nil. Zero. But of course, it's all worth it because now Tati is suing Katie for five million. <laughs> so honestly, uh, I've got to ask, <laughs> was it really worth it? <laughs> was it really worth it, Katie? I'm serious now. Was it worth it? Because now you owe five million dollars. <laughs> digging into someone's family, you should not do it. Uh, especially if they're not public figures. It is wrong and I'm pretty sure Katie has learned her lesson now. Probably not. She is a bit, uh, you know. That means she lacks IQ, by the way, nothing else, I promise. But you see, slander also ties in with the stalking segment. She might be addicted, but she simply cannot stop stalking and slandering. I'm talking whap, whap, whap. That's some wet ass pussy. Now then, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about religious websites, God, the rest of it. 
Katie Joy. Katie used to be an admin, I guess you could say, for a religious website where you would talk about religion and uh, post very positive things on there. But Katie Joy took it into her own hands, again, which probably not a good idea after what happened the last time. Rather than writing religious positive things on that website, she slandered Tati and her husband. Just because she didn't like them. You know what? I really fucking hate that bloke across the street. So I'm gonna teach him a lesson. I'm gonna go on my Christian website right now and tell everyone he stole my grandmother's wheelchair. But after writing crap upon crap on the website, um, she did get removed from it. And she continued to dig into Tati's family, but this time into Tati husband's family. That's right, everyone. Katie started digging into Tati's husband's criminal records. I am fucking clueless right now. And you won't bloody believe the things Katie found. Upon information and belief, the article states that James has a lengthy criminal rap sheet. And then proceeds to discuss an arrest in 1989 and another in 1990 related to drug use when James was still in his teens. <gasps> He didn't do drugs, did he? No, you're lying. Oh my god! Tati's husband did drugs when he was a teenager. Oh my god, that's fucking hard evidence. The only charge he has as an arrest on his criminal record is that he used drugs when he was a teenager. That's the evidence that Katie was digging for, everyone. That really was worth the five million, wasn't it? But Katie tries to make it sound like as if uh, James is some sort of crime boss, a drug lord. He fucking used drugs when he was a teenager. It's not that bad if you think about it compared to what he could have done. I mean, it could have been worse. James could have walked into Walmart and shot six old ladies. But that didn't happen, thankfully. I don't know what the obsession is with old ladies today. I'm just kind of running with a joke. It's probably all the granny porn I've been watching. But Katie really does try and run a narrative that fits her best. You know, that she really has found something. That she's doing something for the community. Uh, you're a YouTuber, Katie. You're not a detective. That's the truth. Oh, and also everyone, uh, apparently James frauded his family of millions and millions of dollars. Katie claimed that James killed his own mother, and I don't mean literally killed her, because then we're going back onto the topic about killing old ladies again. <laughs> but literally made his mother sign the inheritance over to him while keeping all of his siblings out of it. And if this is true, then well done, Katie. You found something, finally. But uh, it's not true. It's, it's not true at all. Judging by the statements that you can see on screen right now, uh, the disinheritance was years before his mother died. Uh, not recently. He didn't make her sign the, the inheritance while she was on her deathbed and kept the siblings out of it. That, that didn't happen. It was years before uh, something happened. Not now. And you claim to be the best investigator of all time, but holy crap, are you shit at it. But yes, everyone. Um, I'm going to now send you over to Dr. Don Valentine. If you are new to my channel, uh, I tend to do characters a lot. I dress up in fancy dress and dance around on camera for 20 minutes. And now let's proceed with my good friend, Dr. Don Valentine. So welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dr. Don Valentine and in this monstrosity we shall be looking at Katie Joy's mass fall of ego. Katie is the kind of woman who would compare dick sizes just to prove that she's better than me. Katie believes that she is the face of YouTube, she says what's right and what's wrong. But let's look at this clip where she compares her channel, 100,000 subscribers, to a channel with only a thousand subscribers. Let's have a look what she had to say. Cute. Your jealousy is so ugly. How is your 1,000 subscriber channel? Because I have 137,000. I'm 137 times, like 137,000 times bigger than you. I don't think it's a competition. So there you go. Yes, my friends, you saw it there correctly. Her channel is 100 times bigger than that person's channel. You see, Katie, you can have 100,000 subscribers. It does not make you a nice person. You're still an asshole. And that's just my opinion. What are you going to say about it? Huh? That's just my opinion. I can't do nothing. If I don't like you and I think you're a bad person and an asshole, I can tell you that. But Katie also uses her ego, you know, sitting there all smug, saying who can stay on the platform and who can't. I'm sorry to break it to you, Katie, but you have 100,000 subscribers. YouTube doesn't really care about you and what you have to say. Free the banana girl. Get Freely the banana girl off of here now. Get Jennifer Daniels off now. Get, um... Get Jim Humble's crap off here now. Get rid of Carrie Rivera. Get rid of these people. Disband Jillian Epperly's page. Get rid of all of them. Every single one of them. Get rid of the naturopaths. Disable Del Victory's Highwire. Del Victory's Highwire is the biggest crock of conspiracy crap on YouTube. Disable Stop Mandatory Vaccination. Oh, I love it. The way she sits there all smug with royalty. 
this person should be on the platform, this person, this person, this person, this person. Who the fuck do you think you are, huh? And just because you have more subscribers than me, Katie, it does not mean that you are more valued of a person than I am. Uh, just in case you know. And you may have more subscribers, but doesn't make me any less of a man. Also, not just that, ladies and gentlemen, but I claim Katie Joy to be a bit of a bully. Mm-hmm, that's right, a bully. Just the way, mm, just the way she bullies everyone, you know, to stay out of this topic, because if you do get involved, you can expect her lawyers to be in contact. I'm just trying to be benefit, like, if you are lurking in there, if you are in that group because you are trying to just spy, if you are in that group because you, um, are involved in things that aren't good, I would, I would dip. I would literally dip. You don't want to get involved in what's about to happen. You really don't want to be involved. It's, it's very serious. I mean, seriously, guys, you, you don't want to be involved with this. Just straight away, if you're thinking about getting involved, I'm just saying, if you don't want a lawsuit, I wouldn't get involved. That is bullying. You're bullying me not to speak my voice on the internet. It's freedom of speech. If I disagree with something you've done, I can talk about it. You know? Don't get lawsuit involved with my opinion. You get it? So if you don't want to be part of a court case, you might want to leave. And I'm honest to God saying this, like, don't be involved in this if you don't want to be involved in this. Because that's how serious this is. I'm not, I'm not playing around. I'm not, um... This is literally not a veiled threat. Like, this is all things that are happening as we speak. The amount of utter bullshit I'm hearing. It's like, this is my opinion, okay? I think that you are smug. You have a big ego. And it's the worst. It, 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 oh, it, ugh. It is terrible. Every day I'm shitting and I'm pissing on this hypocrisy. It's that uncontrollable demon they didn't want to see. Right, so hypocrisy. One of my favourite things to talk about, I can't lie, because I really do just endure the feeling of calling someone out on their hypocrisy. Katie Joy talks about how amazing she is at researching, how fantastic she is at doing detective work, but yet she got things wrong, you know, blatantly lying about something just for financial gain. However, Katie did in fact say this. But these channels have no place on this, on this like platform, period. You don't want to spread false news with fake, with, with health issues and you don't want to spread false propaganda, just get rid of them all. You don't want people showing false news, huh? <laughs> false news. <clears throat> Shane Dawson's been investigated, by the way. Well, no, that was false news, isn't it, Katie? Uh, you are a hypocrite. You talk about how, uh, you know, authentic your evidence is. Uh, it's, it's really not as a bit shit, in it? You can't talk about people spreading false news when you are literally a suspect of that yourself. You spread a false news about Shane Dawson, you, sp you slandered. Uh, Tati's husband. I mean, come on. I mean, that's just ridiculous now. Speaking of assholes, though, Trisha Paytas. Now, Trisha Paytas, she, uh, she creates drama on purpose for financial gain and to grow a channel. Creating controversy, you could say. Now, without a crystal ball, claims to love Trisha Paytas. That she's, she's such an idol, you know. She, she, she really looks up to Trisha. She, she's a good person and, and she speaks truth and she just doesn't give a shit about nothing. Well, if that's so true, Katie... I mean, it's not a big deal. This is just like me nitpicking now, but if you really did like Trisha Paytas, why would you say all these things about her? My God, Trisha Paytas just liked the tweet that I sent to her, you guys. Oh my God. Do you guys know that I'm a low-key Trisha Paytas fan? I know you guys hate that she's a troll, but I am such a low-key Trisha Paytas fan. I kind of like someone that just doesn't give a flying F. She is so entertaining. You know she's trolling 99.9% .9 of the time, right? You guys, like when she does stuff, like people take her so seriously and I'm like, you guys know she's trolling, right? I love that she's so body positive. Like, I feel like more women should be body positive. Alan, that's, uh, oh, that's a bit, uh, that's a bit awkward now, isn't it? You mugged yourself off, Katie, is what you've done. You made yourself look like a mug. And that's actually really funny. Now, don't take me too seriously, Katie. Uh, I don't put myself on a pedestal like you do. But I'm just going to say to you, um, I do this for entertainment. I do this for fun. Uh, I don't really want to destroy anyone like you do. You know, uh, lying about people is one thing that's very hilarious. Overall, I think Katie is just a funny character. I think she's funny. And I, I, I'm starting to like her a little bit. I can't lie. Uh, I think she's a funny person. And she makes me laugh, so... I'm starting to like her. She's starting to grow on me, I can't lie. But welcome to the end of the video. Um, this is the end. Uh, don't click off yet. But if you want to know why I make so many penis jokes, um, it's because I'm insecure and I'm sexually frustrated. I talk about my penis a lot, okay? And some could say I'm quite obsessed. Well, the truth is, everyone, and I'm just going to tell you, I I've kept it for so long now. 
I, I just have to tell you, my penis is massive. You mad, bro? Uh, yeah. I said, tell me what you mad for. Uh, you mad, bro? Uh.